Uh, Harry and I have some history that goes back to uh, when he was interviewing me at my home in Nuwijewak. But uh, he's a St. John or a graduate of St. Malachy's, I think. Correct, sir. Yeah. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Your Honor, where's Senator Day? I know he's here. <laughs> there he is, Senator Day. Members of the provincial and federal le uh, federal government that are here, uh, ladies and gentlemen, as you heard in the introduction, uh, I did have the privilege of being the commanding officer of 403 Squadron some time ago, and uh, the commanding officer is here uh, with his uh, group and his honorary colonel. Uh, you'll see I'm sporting a 403 pin because this is their year uh, 80th birthday, the first Air Force squadron formed outside of Canada overseas. It was a great time to celebrate. And that's basically my uh, theme for the, my introductory remarks. Uh, when I was at Winnipeg uh, looking after our Air Force, my colleague uh, David Huddleston and I started looking around and we said, you know, we should uh, capture some of our Air Force history. And we looked around to try to find some aircraft that we could put on pedestals so people could see them. And to our great shock, it was difficult to find them. For some reason, you take that Air Force history and all the aerospace and aviation history in Canada, and you look around and you say, I wonder why they didn't celebrate it. For instance, I can recall when I was in my flying days, flying into a airfield outside of Moncton, where a company whose name of McEwen was busy chopping up the Sabre jets that our country had retired. It's hard to find a Sabre these days. I understand Kevin and his team are being somewhat successful in that regard. But actually, when you think back about it, back around uh, the early part of 1909, when human-powered flight was a brand new and novel idea. And then you fast forward your camera to yesterday and the Chinese are busy occupying their space station with three new astronauts. Think of the leaps and jumps that have taken place in our lifetimes to accomplish such things. Supersonic flight, transatlantic supersonic flight, weather forecasting, using satellite technology. And again, I was privileged when I was in Colorado Springs, looking after NORAD, to, to engage those various aerospace systems to make our country and our world much better and much safer. You look at the influence that aviation and aerospace power has had on all of Canada, and in fact, all of the globe, it's a real credit to Kevin and his team for founding the organization that will, that will realize the development of a full-time museum in Miramichi to celebrate Canada's aviation history. There are a few of them in Canada, and we have a lot of that stuff here in the province. We just have to find it, but we need a home for it. We're looking for a home that would be about 80,000 square feet. Mayor Michi has been kind enough to lend us a hangar there for the time being. And we're very proud of the fact that Beaverbrook Foundation has just offered us $100,000 to do a feasibility study on the development and final solution of an aerospace facility in Mayor Michi. We're most grateful to them. And I know my colleague, Senator, uh, uh, Senator Joe Davis, Davis sorry Dave, <laughs> I, uh, he, uh, he kicked off the fundraising effort that we have formally started upon and already we're realizing some funds. But if your organization that you represent can find its way to make a donation or to encourage others to make a donation to realize this entity, we'd be most grateful. It is so nice to be here in this facility. I'm looking out at one of those aircraft. 
I didn't write down the numbers of it, but I suspect back in the early 70s, I actually flew one of those in my spare time uh, doing budworm spraying here in the province. It is so nice to see the support that Forest Protection Limited has offered so we can use this facility today. Again, I encourage all of you to make your best efforts to help realize the funds that are necessary to, in, to celebrate our very, very rich aviation and aerospace history that we have here in the province and to encourage the youth of our province to look for a career in aviation. As Harry said, I spent most of my adult life in the aerospace industry in some form or other. I'm very proud of it. It almost like uh, it's like being a sailor standing on the, the aft deck of a ship. The salt air gets to you. Well, in my case, the air got to us. And being up there next to the face of God is why airmen are the way they are. So it's a pleasure to be here for you all. And it's a pleasure to be able to address you. And it's a pleasure to share the co-chair with Senator Joe Day. Thank you very much.